Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Automation Empire. And I've been uh, keeping an eye on things here, and as you can see, we're already out of iron and coal already, which means we're going to have to start getting some, uh, get our, getting our production increased. Uh, we can actually do that now, as you can see, we have a fair amount of science, and if we go up to our research, we actually have enough to unlock the waterworks, which we are going to do as soon as I claim the research. We do actually have research ready to go, I just never cleaned it yet. Uh, so this is good. I have done a little bit of a playthrough on my own, a little bit of more of my, a little more solo, and I started under. So a couple of things I actually discovered. Uh, one, this is actually a good thing to get into because it does um, affect the output of the actual miners. As you can see, thirty percent. Uh, the capacity use. That's actually how much water it uses, just like the power. So it's, it's not like you can have three upgrades to it. Uh, same with the buildings, the uh, factories too, just uh, cost the machines down by 10%, which isn't too bad. It's nothing I really have to worry about because I'm not playing on on uh, the challenge mode where I'm paying the the taxes on the, the factories. That's apparently only in in the, the challenge mode. So as far as I know, I'm not actually paying taxes because I'm getting quite a bit of profit. But anyways, uh, what I want to do today is, uh, one, I want to start getting some more iron and coal coming. Uh, I've been thinking about getting waterworks in here, getting these two nodes set up into this setup here so we can get more iron going to the factory. And then I was looking over here, this is all oil here. Now we do have these three miners here, but I have all these six over here. So what I might do is I might actually just stop using these three and start using these six and then just double up the train, make like a 12 car. Uh, minecart train and then by the time it brings resources here things will work out better now I'm gonna pause things here just because uh, there's a few other things too that I've come to realize I was messing around with the trains and yes you get three silos you get an extra car for every silo after that you get an extra car and I actually had 15 cars on one train the problem with that though is it literally took almost an entire month to fill that train up now the problem with it taking so long to load up is the next train doesn't get scheduled until after that train actually leaves the map so yes you're moving a lot more goods out but the you're only getting one train a month whereas if you do four or five you might get two trains out a month which is okay if you're only running one line. Today I want to try to get four lines going in here if I can. Uh, I do realize I do have these miners set up and that are in the way. This is producing it's our coal. Could actually get rid of this and then just uh, depend on these two over here. Just have a, a much bigger supply chain coming. Uh, maybe even two lines. But down here, this is a question because there's only certain places you can place rails. I want to see if you can actually place rails over top. And you cannot go right up to it. That's a shame. So now the question is, where is it going to go? Uh, I do know i got to get the waterworks going, but I want to try to figure out what I want to do with the mining first. So I do have a layout of what I'm going to do with the, the silos, and this is how it's going to be done. I'm not going to worry about the track, but... Uh, what we'll do, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be having each tank or each silo connected to a tank and just a small tank like so and then on the end of the tank it's going to be an input. Let me get the minecart track coming through like so. Uh, I'm going to set, I'm probably going to have six silos on each one and then the first one I'm going to set to skip the first five, the second one is going to be skipping uh, Every four, oh, actually, how would that work? I was hoping there was going to be a way that it built a. See, I don't know if this is going to skip empty cars or not. Because I know it'll skip full cars, but if I say every other car and it's only got the third one in, is it going to skip that one? Or is it going to take because it's technically the third or. However, I'm not too sure we'll figure it out, but that's why we just gotta get more steel produced. But anyways, uh, the spacing on that actually works out perfect, because then we can get... Uh, not that. Uh, hang on, hang on, I'll be there in just a second. Uh, what was it, two spaces? Yeah, 
one and two. So they'll have two spaces apart. I can get in here. Get another one of those. Another one of those. I just, that's not where it's going yet, but like so, and that gives just enough room to actually get the minecart through. Uh, as soon as I get back onto it. But you know what I mean. So in that way, that's two lines there. I want to try to get four lines going. The only issue I'm going to have is actually fueling these lines. Or like supplying them. Because I'm going to be having... Uh, going to be having rails going through like so. Oh, not, not curving through, but uh, like that. So I got to be able to find a way to get a minecart in here to supply this. And the only way I could really think of is at one end. I've been thinking about having four separate uh, minecart lines to supply this. Uh, hang on, hang on. Brain's not working here. There we go. Uh, yeah, so I'm thinking about doing a three like so. Actually, that's going to be facing the other way, but you get the idea. Now, since I have... Is that going to be enough room? Hmm. It's not well. I was. I don't know why I was thinking about actually having a supply tank, but uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna, I'm gonna do. It, go with and just have four separate lines going in. Uh, let me get rid of this. And then there was also something I learned about these remote connectors. Uh, the remote connectors don't actually have to be on the tank themselves. They actually supply to whatever connections you have through those connectors, and I guess they're just connected to the bottom of the tank. So me having this here doesn't need to be there because this is linked up to this so if I take this out these will still have connection to this tank because they're color coded and it comes in through the bottom so that, that's good so that means that this doesn't have to be here I can have this move somewhere else I can take this out put these connection put the remote connectors on here uh, because these are pushing and they'll push into the tank into the container uh, so now what I want to do is I actually want to start moving things around because I want to try to Let's actually get the ore production going first, but uh, on my playthrough I actually flip these around and because the way the, the connections are, it actually works out where you can have them sort of overlapping. So I can almost get like 30% more of them in here. And that's what we'll do. Uh, we'll definitely gotta get the ore being produced a little more. But yeah, uh, let me figure out where the rails are going to be and what I'm going to do about these miners and I'll bring you back when I'm ready to go. Okay, so I was looking at it, and it seems like this is actually going to work. Uh, there'll be two of them here. Uh, I'm going to take these miners out, because if I put the fourth silo there, it'll give me four train lines. One, two, three, four. Uh, you can take these out. The train track will actually go right in between. You can have the exit, the entrance here, the exit over there. Uh, as far as this road goes, I've been thinking if we can get enough production going. Uh, that I'm gonna take this road, I'm gonna shorten it by one stop, have it go in about here, have this road come out this way and up with three more stops and then go out this side as well. And then switch these two lines over, these claw lines, to do three stops. Now, I don't think I can actually do 18 claws yet. Uh, hang on, let me, let me see if I can get a track here. There we go. So, no, I can't. What's the research going to cost for more claws? Uh, I want six more. It's 450,000 research. It could be doable. Maybe. Uh, we'll see. I uh, definitely want to focus on the trains, though, just because we can get so much out, especially if I can get... Uh, I figure... If we can get six cars on each train, we'll maybe we'll get two runs of trains through. That's a lot of goods. I think each one was, uh, each car was like a hundred kilos, if not more. But anyways, so that is where our rails are going to be. So we can take that out. Let's go work on the, the coal line up here. Let's see what we can do. So I want to capture all six of these and put them together. So uh, let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's what I got. Uh, well, actually, I've got this one over here. Uh, this is basically going to be it. It's a little bit of a mess, but hey, I have money. I can spend it. Uh, oh, yeah, that's going to go the wrong way. We want that one there. We want to have this one here. I should have to set this one up, which is no big deal because 
is really simple. One curve, there we go. So this one has two. So these two miners are going to feed into this tank here, which feeds into these cards, which goes into this tank. Uh, this one goes into here. This one goes into here, which goes into here. This one gets goes into the mine cart, which goes into here. This one goes into here. This all gets pumped into this tank, which goes into this tank, which goes to here. And this is the loading cart to go, uh, loading pipe to go back to the factory. So uh, it's just a matter of putting the rails in. And I've been thinking about uh, actually trying to double track this so it actually goes back on the same track. Or well, not the same track, but. Uh, uh, loops around that's the word I'm thinking of yes something like this and that's actually zoomed out too far I should grab the stuff uh, I didn't leave my didn't leave myself enough room and then so basically do something like this so when it gets to this point because the train's gonna be so long at least it'll be already to about here by the time it's done so it continues on instead of uh, going all the way out here and having a carry the extra distance back. It costs extra money to do, but it uh, definitely saves you time in the long run. Um, I probably will pick up here, just just in case. In case there's something here, we do this, we bring that back down to one, and connect that there, and so on and so forth. I'm going to do the same thing over here, and I'll bring you back when I'm done. Look at that. One tile too long. I just can't quite make the connection. Almost did it. Uh, there we go. So now, all I have to do is go on here. I have five cars. Let's go up to 16, just because. So that's just going to keep going in one direction. Don't have to worry about anything. Uh, let's see which way it's going. That's the way I want it to go. I want to grab, fill up here first, and then take whatever's left here. And that's going to take it down to here. Uh, as far as the iron goes here, these are producing not a whole lot, so uh, let us get to some waterworks. Uh, these are big buildings. They do support, uh, supply a fair amount of water. So as you can see, we do have pipes to move them around. Now, ideally, I would like to have one tank supply and everything, but I'm going to be having a lot of stuff here, so I'm going to have to have a separate water tank over there yeah, as you can see they're kind of expensive and they use wireless power uh, so I want to try to get to all three of these miners here if I can I guess we'll just have to come on now these are like the, the normal tanks here where there's four connection points really you won't let me go there all right fine we'll have to tuck it in right back here. Now this is an interesting pipe setup. I'm going to go with this one here because I have to get through. But as you can see, you can see where it's going to connect. Now I'm going to go go straight this way. I can, oh, I can connect right to this one. Perfect. So that one will connect through. Now to make my connection, that's all I have to do just that you can also branch off the same pipe if you want so it's uh, quite versatile in what it can do or for getting stuff around which I'd like the transfer pipes to be able to do that but that's not the case anyway and then we go on the other side here we'll do get that connection here we'll bring it up we have to go up and over the track and this is only one height so we do like so and, oh, and I was pushing the wrong button to change my zoom. But same same thing like the tracks. Once you bring it up, you get up to here. And then I think I'm going to have to actually go like this. Just to actually make this, get this to work in there. Oh, that's not going to fit there. I'm sure I can leave an open pipe, but I'm about to close it off. There's no reason for it to be open. It's the only thing that's going to be connected to it. Like so, and there we go. So now, as you see, it says 11 seconds. As soon as it finishes this cycle, it'll drop down to eight seconds. So we're producing faster iron. Uh, that'll be the same with the coal too. The coal will go down to like six seconds or something like that, or 
maybe eight. I'm not too sure, but these are going, so that's good. And now we're going to go over here. We're going to do the same thing with this iron setup here, too. We're going to get another, another water tank and some more pipes, and I shall return. All right, so I got the water set up on these iron miners here. Uh, while I'm here, I might actually try to capture these two as well and try to get these in the same line to bring it back to there. So let me do that, and I'll be back. Okay, so I've got these two connected. They are uh, spy by rail. Oh, well, it actually needs a, a mine cart or two, doesn't it? Add two carts there. Add two more carts on here, so I should probably extend that rail a little bit. And like so, and then we go over here. Where is that going? It's going over here. And yes, that is going to need some more parking space. Okay, so everything is running now. Now what we can do is start getting some more space. Now I want to... You know what? I actually want to move that steel first. So let, I'll let that minecart here load up. And once it's out of the way, I'm going to pause the game. I'm going to take those rails out. Because I want to try, try to transfer this into another tank. Now, you may think that's going to be difficult, but it shouldn't be. Place a tank there. And we uh, unselect that. So, I'm going to take this connector off, because I didn't actually need that to begin with. Because if these are pushing into this connector, it's going to go to this tank already, automatically. I am not going to delete the tank, because I do not want to lose all that steel. Uh, so now, we go... Uh, we want this. We do an output here to the green connector. Oh no, we're creating an infinite loop. That's okay. Because we're going to uncolorize that. We're going to colorize this one. And so now, as you can see, it's steel. It's got 94 in it. It's got 93. Huh, interesting. That's what I was wondering is uh, how much of this would actually get transferred. Ah, I did empty them. Okay. That's good to know. Hmm. Let's see if we can try to capture a little bit more of this. Ah, it doesn't matter. We're going to be making so much of it. Really don't want to delete that. That's fine. We'll leave it there for now. We are going to get rid of all these. Actually, that one could have stayed. <laughs> we are going to get rid of all these combiners, though, or half of them. We're going to leave these ones here. I'm going to take the rest of them out. Oh, that was. Uh, let me get to a better deleting position. It'd be nice if you could like click and drag an entire area, but that's not the case. And let's be careful not to destroy any of the important infrastructure. Uh, that creator will have to move or create a maker. I call him a creator, but it's a create maker. All right, so what I was doing was I took the combiner and I flipped it around like so. Actually, that's not in that spot there. It should be right here, but uh, the create maker is in the way. Let's actually delete that. And I was over here. Yes. So now if I go like so, I can actually go in one more, I think. Yeah, that would actually work right there, I think. Leave it about as best as I can do. Input there, input there, output there. And then we have... Uh, let's try to keep it all uniform. Blue on the left, blue on this side, orange on this side. But if it's flipped around, then the colors would be flipped. Just to confuse everybody. Okay, which way is this going? Okay, there we go. So then all we do is like so. And again, I don't have to have the connectors on these tanks here, even though I do. Uh, I just need to have them where other machines are supplying these tanks. So that's good. If I want to, I can actually get the rest of the steel put into another tank, but I'm not going to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this all set up, and uh, I'll return with the final product. Okay, there we are. I have it doubled up all the tanks that we have here, which is pretty good. So that is that part. Uh, something to think about now too. If I want to get four train, four trains coming in for the the new rail system, I'm gonna have to have a place for them to actually come in. Um, unfortunately, you can only have one train per square section, which means there's gonna be something in the way here. Uh, this line might move, 
I'm not too sure uh, what I might end up. Oh, that actually has to stay there. I could actually switch the uh, the refined tanks over to a small tank for space purposes, which might be an idea. But uh, I do have everything running here. Here, let's see how we're doing. This is picking up. It actually needs a little bit more track. That one has enough. Oh, that one actually might need a a longer rail line. We'll see how that goes. This one. That one's going to need another car, but it looks a bit. Give me that factory back on. Add a cart, and let's see how this one's doing. Actually, that's not the one I'm looking at. This is the one I want to check out. It's a lot of mine carts. I'm actually curious to see how far, how many carts you can get. You get another 10 on each train. So if I got 16 now, I could be 26 cars on there. So now you can see why I did the, the loop, right? Because it would have had to fill up all the way. Then would have had to back up. It costs more money on the rails, but that doesn't matter because this is working. And yes, we're missing out on product here. You would think that the mine carts would somehow work out with the the tracks. And that's good. That's picking up a nice full train load here with plenty to spare. And we're not even fracking over there. Uh, this, we're actually starting to get a, a nice surplus builded up. I would say it'd be worthwhile to do a loop around. But I'm not too worried about it because we do have this line here. We can always add a couple more cars on there if we need to. Uh, the steel is backing up, so we'll have to deal with that eventually. I want to see how this does. Oh, okay, we don't have that much in here, so it's not that big of a deal. We are uh, all water connected here. Okay, it's all filling up. All right, that's actually one thing I forgot to do, and we're going to do that right now. This will be really easy to do. We are going to hook up water to our factory. Not that it actually matters, but there we go. I'm just plug it right to the side. Well, got to connect it to the pipe first and there you go water connected it just means we're costing 10% less to run which really doesn't matter right now okay so that is going so the next step is going to be let's see how this goes might have to get some more refineries going well there's much more we can actually do we are producing a lot of steel, we got to get that moving, so uh, yeah, let me figure out the next plan of attack here, and I'll bring you back. Alright, well I was just looking at the time here, and I think it might be a good good place to call it before we get into more of these really long episodes. I think next one we're going to we're gonna save the rails for the next one, we're going to start getting all this laid out, we'll get rid of these miners, and we'll try to figure out what we're going to do with the wine cards. I'm thinking about setting up a couple more tanks down the line, have them connected, and basically dump this tank into those tanks and uh, get some room. Uh, I do have this cart here, this line here I have to worry about, but this is technically for this coal line. Uh, so if I decide to get four lines going in through here to feed the, the trains, which just happens to be here, uh, then, least, then I can get this out of the way. I might have to have one mine cart on the on the ground coming in and one coming into the second floor and then work its way through but I should be able to get enough room if we have to just have a spot where the, tr the mine cart comes in and exit out, out the door and just has a track going down here while it loads up and that's what we'll have to do but yeah we are definitely running we're not building anything up in here yet because you know we got to get these things all filling up and they're actually turning out steel at an alarming rate and we're not actually shipping it out so we got to get on that in the next one anyways thank you all so much for watching hope you enjoyed and as always i'll see you in the next one Later.